If you are on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or TikTok, I am 100% certain you have seen posts on the election this past few months. Your friends, influencers you follow, and interest groups you're members of are all quick to post, post memes for or against a candidate, for or against a policy. And I get it, boy do I get it, how satisfying it feels to share that scathing meme that speaks to the truth of a situation. I get how good it feels to say, yeah, here's everything that's wrong with the other side. There's a rush of dopamine with every share, and I feel a sense of smug self-righteousness when I see an attack on the other side. But let me ask you this. In all the memes that you've seen, in all of the flaming, angry comment sections you've read through, has a meme shared online or a comment online ever changed your mind? Have you ever been swayed by the facts of a policy argument or a list of flaws in a candidate by a picture with a five-word caption? Don't get me wrong. I have very strong feelings about this upcoming election. And when I see a post that supports my position, I get excited that someone out there is sharing and speaking the truth. And when I see a post that refutes my candidate or is so diametrically opposed to my position on issues, I drift farther away from my friend that shared it. I'm not telling you to not share memes, but I am asking you to consider when you share that post that shows why your candidate is right and the other is wrong, just realize you are further dividing our world into us and them. And you know who your friends are on the other side. So instead of having a flame war in comments, maybe have a coffee and realize the issues are bigger and more complex than right or wrong, yes or no, black or white. Colossians 3.15 says, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. We are one body, friends, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Amen.